Hello again and welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is Black Sheep Brewery's Golden Sheep Ale. Um, there's a back of the bottle, it's 4.7% in the volume. And there's the bottle cap. There we go. Let's uh, crack this beer open straight away and then pour it out and have a little talk about it, about its history and taste and smell and everything else. Um, nice little label around the neck of the bottle. Uh, it goes off in April 2011. Nice, I, I, I like the uh, his hops around the edge of the bottle. Hops on like a, a, a vine coming around the bottle. Right, here we go. Oh, look at this. Well, they call it golden sheep. It's um, as you'd expect, really. It's a very, very golden coloured beer. It's very, oh, straight away. Oh, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. It's like a grapefruity smell. And it's quite, smells quite hoppy. Uh, let's give it a taste and have a little read on the bottle and have a chat. Yeah, it's quite spicy as well. And a hoppy, spicy, and then like a fruit bang, and, and the fruit being grapefruit. It's lovely. Mm. It was a one, two finger head, but that's gone down quite quickly. Nice lacing on the glass. But this is really nice. Um, I, I quite easily have a session on this, have a fair few, and enjoy. It's quite a nice, uh, fruity, relaxing, relaxing type beer where. Um, you don't want to think about it too much. It's nice, it's tasty, it's got a lot of bang with the fruit. You can sit back, relax and enjoy. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. The Stone of Crows is lovely. Stone of Crows is a good ale. Mm. Right. Let's tell you a little bit, let's just read on the back of the bottle what we got. It's 4.7% in the alcohol content there. Um, Golden Sheep Ale. Pale ale brewed using time honoured methods and fermented in our Yorkshire square vessels to give full flavour and a dry and refreshing bitterness. Um, th apparently these Yorkshire square vessels are unique <coughs> to the brewery, pardon me. It's, um, they're stacked on top of each other, what I can see on the website. Um, have a look on the website, you'll be able to see and have a look at their vessel system. It's the Yorkshire Square Ale. No, they do a Yorkshire Square Ale, but they've got a Yorkshire Square Vessel. Have a look. It is www.blacksheepbrewery.com If you want to order any of their gear, it's 01765-689-227. Um, gear meaning you can order one of these t-shirts or there's a, there's a different range of t-shirts there they're very nice very comfortable um, point glasses um, goblets hampers mashed to marmalade key rings aprons jumpers it's lovely nice brewery where you can get all your different stuff now I'm going to tell you about the rest of their beer range um, they do the rib welter which I've reviewed um, Golden Sheep Ale, the Black Sheep Ale, which I've reviewed, and I've got to review, um, it's up in the cupboard there. I'll show you my beer cupboard, why not? There's my beer, beer cupboard here, full of bits and pieces. There's my Real Ale Pub Guide. And a bottle of this Eclipse is from uh, a Cardiff brewery. And there's my... Look at the OSB, the Thoroughbred Gold there, 
That's the one from Barry, Bitter Than Ever. Thomas Watkins, bottle of Tribute there from Cornwall. And in the back there's a bottle of Banks' Lions Row. So, and there's, well, there's all sorts of stuff going on in the back. But yeah, I'm going to go through and review all of these in the future. But, um, I got to do the, the, the other beer, beers in their range, which is Yorkshire Square Ale and the Holy Grail Ale. Lovely. I'm going to rate this beer now. So long I've got left. I've got a few minutes. It's sometimes hard to gauge a review. Sometimes you look at the at the, up at the clock and you've got like a minute to go and you're like, oh, better get this review done quickly, snap it. But looking at the clock, I've got a few minutes, so um, give us a, a review, a, a rating. I'm going to give this. I'm going to give this an 8. I nearly said 7. I'm going to give this an 8. Reason being, the qualities of these ales, of this particular ale, is, is I like the grapefruit. The grapefruit goes well with the hop flavour and the spicy bite. It's, it's hop. I say it's hoppy and spicy first, and then you get your fruit. You get your fruit in the, in the nose, but then it comes through just after the the taste of the of the hops and the, and the spiciness so it's, it's all one big giant which is designed to do it's absolutely fantastic it did exquisite tastes so I've given this an 8 out of 10 the golden sheep show you the bottle again lovely ale from Yorkshire oh and if you can see this on there it says Paul Theakston. I'll pull it back a bit. Maybe, maybe use on the camera. But Paul Theakston is um, the owner of Black Sheep Brewery, and he's part of the family of Theakstons, the people who make all peculiar and Theakston's best bitter. They're all one family. But I understand this Mr. Paul Theakston decided to go off and, and start his own brewery. Um, he's, he's done very well, done very well, but they, 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 I think there's five generations, it says, on, this is a fine pale ale, but I think it's five generations of brewing, but that goes back to the Theakston's part of the brewery, so I'm enjoying this, I'm going to have another mouthful. If you want to get in touch with the Real Ale Guys, you can email me at realaleguide at googlemail.com The website is kind of like a bit of a non-starter at the moment, I haven't done much with it. It's If you want to have a look though, it's www.therealaleguide.com I plan to sell merchandise from all the breweries in, in the UK and Europe um, and try and ship it out to America if I can, if you're interested in ordering any of this stuff. But if you're interested in anything, if you want to get into, get hold of anything, um, the best thing to do would be to email me or go to the website and let me know on one of the blogs on what you, you would like, whether it's a black sheep t-shirt or, or something like that, or a particular bottle of ale I could send over. Um, but that's the plan with that. Um, Twitter me at Real Ale Today. Uh, I'm, I'm on Facebook as Real Ale Guide. But hey, good beer. Fantastic. Okay, thanks for watching the Real Ale Guide. Um, there'll be a review in the next four to five, say seven days. Thanks for watching. Cheers.